passed by the General Assembly and signed into law by the governor, House Bill 1878 aims to strengthen and secure Missouri's elections. The legislation requires voters to prove their identity by showing a valid photo ID before being allowed to cast their vote. It also allows voters to submit a no-excuse, in-person absentee ballot up to two weeks prior to any election. In addition, the newly signed law also eliminates the use of drop boxes to collect absentee ballots, makes it illegal for any election authority or municipality to receive or use any private funds to conduct an election, and implements several other important security measures. We want to make it possible for anybody who wants to vote to vote. We want to make it as hard for anybody who is considering cheating in that process to not be able to do that. But, uh, you know, I, I certainly don't want anything that I do, any vote that I take in the General Assembly to stand in the way of someone lawfully being able to vote in an election that they enti are entitled to vote in. And I don't think that anything that we're doing here does that. However, not everyone agrees with the photo ID requirement. One senator believes the legislation is a solution searching for a problem. We're trying to encourage more people to vote, not uh, prevent people from, from voting um, when, when they're, they're showing up as themselves. And, and then, I'm, again, I think if we, moving forward with some of these things, I think it creates an environment where we have laws in place that, that actually make people have to conform to voting in a way as if there are fraudulent cases and there's never been one here in Missouri or, or throughout the country to my knowledge. The governor signed the legislation into law on Wednesday, June 29th. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm John Pattison.